Hello guys, my name is N, I am an electrician. Here I am gonna talk about electricity. Electricity, it's all around us, powering our homes, our devices, and even our bodies. But have you ever wondered how it works? In this video, we'll embark on a journey to unravel the wonders of electricity and discover the fascinating science behind it. Electricity is the flow of electrons, tiny particles with a negative charge, it travels through conductors, like wires, to power our everyday lives, from the dazzling lights in our homes to the humming generators. That fuel entire cities, electricity, has become an integral part of our modern world. But its story goes back centuries. It wasn't until the 18th century that scientists began to unlock the secrets of electricity. Benjamin Franklin's famous kite experiment, and Alessandro Volta's invention of the battery. So, how does electricity work? It starts with the concept of charge, opposite charges attract each other, while same charges repel. This principle is the foundation of electromagnetism, which drives many electrical phenomena we experience daily. Electricity flows in a circuit, a closed loop that allows electrons to move. When a switch is closed, it completes the circuit, and electricity can flow freely. But what happens when a circuit is broken? That's when an interruption occurs, causing devices to turn off or malfunction. One of the most fascinating applications of electricity is lighting up the darkness. Thanks to Thomas Edison's invention of the practical incandescent light bulb, we can instantly illuminate our surroundings. The flow of current through a filament inside the bulb creates light, providing us with a safer and more convenient way to brighten our lives. But as we rely more on electricity, we face the challenge of sustainability, fossil fuels, traditionally used to generate electricity, have harmful environmental effects. That's why scientists and engineers are harnessing the power of renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind, to create a cleaner and greener future. So next time you flip a switch or charge your phone, take a moment to appreciate the wonders of electricity. From its enlightening history to its essential role in our lives, electricity has truly electrified our world. Okay guys, let's get started from Wikipedia. Let's see what is Wikipedia is saying about electricity. Hey, if you are a Wikipedia reader then listen, or skip the video to other part of video. Electricity is the set of physical phenomena associated with the presence and motion of matter that has a property of electric charge. Electricity is related to magnetism both being part of the phenomenon of electromagnetism, as described by Maxwell's equations. Various common phenomena are related to electricity, including lightning, static electricity, electric heating, electric discharges, and many others. The presence of either a positive or negative electric charge produces an electric field. The movement of electric charges is an electric current and produces a magnetic field in most applications. A force acts on a charge with a magnitude given by Coulomb's law. Electric potential is typically measured in volts. Electrical phenomena have been studied since antiquity, though progress in theoretical understanding remains slow. Until the 17th and 18th centuries, the theory of electromagnetism was developed in the 19th century, and by the end of that century, electricity was being put to industrial and residential use by electrical engineers. The rapid expansion in electrical technology at this time transformed industry and society, becoming a driving force for the second industrial revolution. Electricity's extraordinary versatility means it can be put to an almost limitless set of applications which include transport, heating, lighting, communications, and computation. Electrical power is now the backbone of modern industrial society. In today's day we can say everything run on electricity. I am not going to read the whole history, because it's gonna take too much time to explain. So, what is the history of the electricity? Long before any knowledge of electricity existed, people were aware of shocks from electric fish. Ancient Egyptian texts dating from 2750 BC referred to these fish as the thunderer of the Nile and described them as the protectors of all other fish. Thales of Miletus made a series of observations on static electricity around 600 BC, from which he believed that friction rendered amber magnetic, in contrast to minerals such as magnetite, which needed no rubbing. Thales was incorrect in believing the attraction was due to a magnetic effect. 
but later science would prove a link between magnetism and electricity. When the English scientist William Gilbert wrote Demogneet, in which he made a careful study of electricity and magnetism, distinguishing the lodestone effect from static electricity, produced by rubbing amber, he coined the Neo-Latin word electricus of amber or bar like amber. From lambda epsilon kappa tau rho omicron nu, electron, the Greek word for amber to refer to the property of attracting small objects after being rubbed. This association gave rise to the English words electric and electricity, which made their first appearance in print. In Thomas Brown's Pseudodexia Epidemica of 1646, Benjamin Franklin conducted extensive research in electricity. In June 1752, he is reputed to have attached a metal key to the bottom of a dampened kite string and flown the kite in a storm-threatened sky. A succession of sparks jumping from the key to the back of his hand showed that lightning was indeed electrical in nature. He also explained the apparently paradoxical behavior of the Leyden jar as a device for storing large amounts of electrical charge in terms of electricity consisting of both positive and negative charges. Alessandro Volta made the first battery. It is known as voltaic pile. It is made out of alternating layers of zinc and copper, provided scientists with a more reliable source of electrical energy than the electrostatic machines previously used, while the early 19th century had seen rapid progress. In electrical science, the late 19th century would see the greatest progress. In electrical engineering, through such people as Alexander Graham Bell, Otto Blathe, Thomas Edison, Galileo Ferraris, Oliver Heaviside, Enioze Lick, William Thompson, one St. Baron Kelvin, Charles Algernon Parsons, Werner von Siemens, Joseph Swan, Reginald Fessenden, Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse. Electricity turned from a scientific curiosity into an essential tool for modern life. Okay, this is maybe too much history for this video. If not, let me know in the comments. The presence of charge gives rise to an electrostatic force. Charges exert a force on each other, an effect that was known, though not understood, in antiquity. A lightweight ball suspended by a fine thread can be charged by touching it with a glass rod that has itself been charged by rubbing with a cloth. If a similar ball is charged by the same glass rod, it is found to repel the first, the charge X to force the two balls apart. Two balls that are charged with a rubbed amber rod also repel each other. However, if one ball is charged by the glass rod, and the other by an amber rod, the two balls are found to attract each other. These phenomena were investigated in the late 18th century by Charles Augustine de Calo, who deduced that charge manifests itself into opposing forms. This discovery led to the well-known axiom, like same charged objects repel and opposite charged objects attract. The force acts on the charged particles themselves. Hence charge has a tendency to spread itself as evenly as possible over a conducting surface. The magnitude of the electromagnetic force, whether attractive or repulsive, is given by Column's law, which relates the force to the product of the charges, and has an inverse square relation to the distance between them. The electromagnetic force is very strong, second only in strength to the strong interaction, but unlike that force it operates over all distances. In comparison with the much weaker gravitational force, the electromagnetic force pushing two electrons apart is 10 to the power of 40 to times that of the gravitational attraction pulling them together. Charge originates from certain types of subatomic particles, the most familiar carriers of which are the electron and proton. Electric charge gives rise to and interacts with the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. Experiment has shown charge to be a conserved quantity, that is, the net charge within an electrically isolated system will always remain constant regardless of any changes taking place within that system. Example, meaning if 5 volt battery connected to a lamp a certain amount of current will flow through lamp and the battery, then the current will remain same. If we doesn't change anything in our circuit, if we change anything in our circuit, like added another lamp then, current will not be the same as before. Okay, let's see what I think about electricity. So, everything around us is made out of atom. Atom has three particle proton, neutron, and electron. Center of the atom has something called nucleus it contains proton. And neutron, and the electron is revolving around the nucleus. 
the proton is positively charged, its charge is plus 1. 6022 to the power of minus 19 Callum of charge. The electron is negatively charged, its charge is minus 1. 6022 to the power of minus 19 Callum of charge. Neutron has zero charge, it basically neutral. Listen. Same charges repel each other, and opposite charges attract each other. Fewer electron than proton mean atom is positively charged. And more electron than proton mean it is negatively charged. Charge can be measured by a number of means. An early instrument being the gold leaf electroscope, which although still in use for classroom demonstrations, has been superseded by the electronic electrometer. So, that's it for today's video. In next video we are gonna learn about electric current and electric potential and many others. Subscribe and press the bell notification bell. I am gonna make more part of this video so, consider subscribing.